is a perfectly nice name, but come on, Mitchell. Mitchell, it's solid. It's sensible. It's, it's a name you can trust. It sounds like an ad for insurance. It's a name you can spell. People can spell Rebecca. She's right. It did take me a while. I still have trouble. Is it one C or two? You know why people can't spell Rebecca? Because it's a one of a kind. It's a one off. It's in a class of its own. Do you know how many Mitchells there are in Australia? Over 20,000. You just made that up. Point is, it's a very common name. Do you know how many Rebeccas there are in Australia? Yes. Just your family. Just my family. Oh, please. Yes. If Mum becomes a Rebecca, she's also going to have to get a fish name. Yes. Why not? You did. A squid isn't a fish. Yeah, but it's fishy. You could be anchovy. <laughs> OK, Margaret and Mitchell wrote Gone with the Wind. RJ Mitchell designed the Spitfire. <laughs> Stonefish Rebecca invented the Colac car bomb. What's that? That's a drink that you'll find out about when you're old enough. Oh, look, Joni Mitchell, eight-time Grammy Award winner. Oh. Who's that? Oh, that's the whiny chick that she plays at the nursery. I hate her. Yeah. I'm sorry, darling. Please go on. Look, th there's actually a nice alliteration there, too. Callum Mitchell flows. That's not alliteration. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Alliteration is with the first letter of each name. So uh, it'd be Callum Kitchell, and you'd be Sonia Sitchell. Toadfish Titchell. <laughs> that's pretty good, actually. I, look, I thought that we were taking this seriously. <laughs> Jared Mitchell. Tony Mitchell. Toadfish Mitchell. I'm Jared Mitchell. There are over a hundred Jared Mitchells spelt the same way as you on Facebook. <laughs> wow, how's that, eh? Yeah, but there's only 29 Callum Mitchells. Way less than Jones. Score. Nice one. Yeah. There aren't any Callum Rebeccas, though. I'd be the only one. Be like Mitchell, though, don't you? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, of course, yeah. Plus it means I get to create a new Facebook profile and hide from all those people that I can't stand. It's like five <laughs> minutes. Yeah, if I'm lucky. OK. Time for another family meeting. We just have one. Yeah, we're having another one. Well, I'm in the middle of a battle. Yeah, look, you are doing Facebook. Well, I'm multitasking. Yeah, well, it won't take a minute. What's up? Look, I've been thinking about the whole name thing uh, and I've come to a final decision. We are all going to be... Rebecca's. I recently broke up with the first person I ever loved and no one seems to care. One of my best friends acts like it never even happened. All she ever talks about is her work stuff, her ex, her problems and what... ..and what I can do for her. I feel like all I do is run around after my friend but she still can't see that I need help. What should I do? So I'm fed up Erinsborough. Dear Fed Up, are you sure this girl is really one of your best friends? It sounds to me like a one-sided friendship. If you're there as her sounding board and she's not really there for you, what exactly are you getting out of the friendship? What, that I'm a rubbish friend? Lately, yeah. So I don't give you enough attention about Aiden and then I'm getting hit with this passive-aggressive attack in the paper? Well, you haven't exactly been easy to talk to lately. Chris, we talk every day. No, you talk, but you don't listen. And it's not just with Aiden. I mean, you get me to do this Dear Sally thing like it's nothing. We don't even have to pay me, even though you earn twice as much as what I do. So this is about money now, isn't no, it? No, this is about you doing something for someone else for a change. 